it's the monkey bot, which is uh, developed in, in Norway with Kefa, and uh, it's for installing spot sensors onto the pipelines. So what we're going to do is that we're going to move the monkey bot. It's clogging on, clogging on here, clogging on here, and then it will move to the other side, and then it will travel along the pipe autonomous. And we also can, we also have the drilling to drill a hole, drill a hole in the steel cladding, and we do put a new sensor in as we go. So you will install one sensor typically into, into the steel cladding, just underneath the cladding, so you get the, to, to, to measure the moisture and temperature level. And then you have another one, so this will be permanently fixed, and there's coming a new one that will be installed here. So the robot -like arm will come up and drill and fix the sensor. And then it will move to the next one. So it will move continuously onto the pipe and installing the sensor. And when I was chatting with you during the week, you mentioned to me that many of these installations, you can't get at them easily. And it could be thousands of, well, hundreds of not thousands of, of, of meters of pipes that you need to install. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you, we don't want to, with the robot, we, we can't we avoid using the scaffolding. So with the robot, we want to have easier access by installing it. So our kind of target is to install 10 cents per hour without using the, without using scaffolding. So only using the robot moving. And the robot itself will scan the pipe and put a digital ID on where it's putting the sensor. So you will get the 3D module of the pipe where it's been, the sensor has been installed and that will also go back to the digital cloud using as a decision support for the maintenance program. So you can actually move the maintenance from, from uh, risk-based uh, maintenance to more predictive and targeted maintenance. So to reduce your maintenance but quite significantly. And, and the sensor is, is also installed into this um, the magazine, ah. so we're feeding in the sensors, and then we're putting the magazine in, and you have a you have a loads of sensor that that you will, will use, and we have the drilling on both both sides. Well, it's one of the most innovative things I've seen here this week at GasTech. So hey, I wish you well. Yeah, thank you.